Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today's question is, A can cultivate two-fifths of a field in six days and B can cultivate one-third of the same field in ten days. How much time will A and B working together take to cultivate four-fifths of the field? So by seeing the question, you may think it's a difficult question or fractions are coming. But these type of questions are mainly asked for SSC, CGL or likewise competitive exams. So you should know how to do these kind of problems and these problems are actually uh, straightforward and it can be done as you do the other problems too but it seems a bit complicated that's all. So let's see how to do this problem. So it's written A is able to cultivate two fifths of the field in six days and B is able to cultivate one third of the field in ten days. So if A and B are working together how much time will they take to complete 4 fifth of the field? So that's a question given. So just like any other problems, we are adopting the chocolate approach here. A is taking 6 days and B is taking 10 days. So the total number of chocolates will be equal to the LCM of 6 and 10. So it is 30. So chocolates is equal to 30. So here we have to find out how many chocolates A is having per day. So it is written here A is having 2 fifths of the field. A is cultivating two-fifths of the field in six days. That means A will be having two-fifths of 30 chocolates in six days. So what is the meaning of that? A will be having 12 chocolates in six days. So which will give A will be having two chocolates per day. So this is the only difference when compared to other problems. We are not directly dividing 30 by 6 to find out how many chocolates A is having per day. But instead we have to first find out 2 fifths of the field. A is only cultivating 2 fifths of the field in 6 days. So we will be finding out 2 fifths of the uh, total number of chocolates. And from that we will be able to find out how many chocolates A is having per day. Similarly for B, B is having one third of 30 chocolates in 10 days. So that means B is having... 10 chocolates in 10 days. So it implies B is having 1 chocolate per day. So A and B together are having 3 chocolates per day. So what's the question? How much time will A and B together take to cultivate 4 fifths of the field? So here the chocolates to be consumed by A and B together is 4 fifths of 30. 30 is the total number of chocolates and A and B has to do 4 fifths of 30 chocolates. So it will be equal to 24 chocolates. So for, for consuming 24 chocolates, how much time will A and B together will take? A and B together are having 3 chocolates per day. So in order to consume 24 chocolates, A and B will be taking 24 chocolates divided by 3 chocolates per day. So it will be giving us 8 days. So 8 days will be taken by A and B together in order to cultivate 4 fifths of the field. Now second question, or example number 2, A can do one third of a work in 5 days and B can do two fifths of the work in 10 days. In how many days both A and B together can do the work? The same kind of question, A is doing one third of the work in 5 days and what, what is B doing? B is doing two fifths of the work in 10 days. So how much time will A and B together take to complete the work. So that's a question given. So here A is taking 5 days and B is taking 10 days. So let's take the LCM of 5 and 10. So but here we can see that when 3 is coming here and when 5 is coming here. So if you are taking the LCM of 5 and 10 that is 10 as the total number of chocolates then how much uh, A is doing? A will be doing 1 third of 10 and B will be uh, having 2 fifths of 10 chocolates. So that will, uh, that will lead us to some confusion. So let's take a common multiple of 5 and 10 which is also a multiple of 3. So our calculations will be simple. So if you do it you have to think it in mind. Oh here 3 is coming. So we have to take a common multiple of 5 and 10 which is also a multiple of 3. Then only our calculations will become easy. So if you go on doing more and more problems it will automatically come to your mind. So here we are taking total number of chocolates is equal to 30 in order to make the calculations easy. It's a common multiple of 5, 10 and 3. So how many chocolates A are having? A is having 1 by 10 of 30 chocolates. 30 is the total number of chocolates and A is having 1 third of 30 in 5 days. So that means A is having 
10 chocolates in 5 days. Which gives us A is having 2 chocolates per day. So now the calculation became simple. Otherwise we have to take 10 by 3, 10 by 3 chocolates in 5 days. So it, it is uh, leading to some confusion. So in order to make it easier we are taking a common multiple of 5 and 10. Which is also a common multiple of 3. Since the time 3 is coming here. What about B? B is having 2 fifth of 30 chocolates in 10 days. So it means B will be having 12 chocolates in 10 days. Or we can say B is having 12 by 10. 12 by 10 is 6 by 5 chocolates per day. So A and B tools are having 2 plus 6 by 5 which gives us 16 by 5 chocolates per day. So what's the question here? How much time will A and B together take to complete the work? So here the total work is 30 chocolates. So how much time will A and B take to complete 30 chocolates? So how to do that? A and B are together having 16 by 5 chocolates per day. So the days taken will be equal to 30 divided by 30 is the total number of chocolates and A and B together are having 16 by 5 chocolates per day. So 30 divided by 16 by 5. So we can uh, just can 16 and 30 by 2 we will be getting 15 and 8. From that we will be getting 75 by 8 days. So if you are representing it as a mixed fraction we will be getting 9 3 by 8 days. So this is the time taken for A and B together to complete the work. Thank you for watching.